everyone. So I wanted to talk about this new um, story I saw in the headline of this 21 year old that got shot by a police officer because apparently or allegedly she stole alcohol and they called the cops and when the cops came they asked her to um to get out of the car and she refused to and apparently she pressed the gas and she almost um drove or run over one of the police officer now if to her family i send my condolences and uh, i pray for them while they're going through this difficult time but i noticed that um society's using this situation as a, a way to talk about race and say you know cops are racist and all these things and i just want to talk about this because i noticed that every time one person one person get killed by a cop it's an uproar um with that one person get killed by a cop but then in chicago this weekend or money weekend there's like 60 death of black people killing each other how come i don't see an uproar about that how come I don't see a march about Black Lives Matter when there's a black and black crime. But when there's a white cop killing, or you know, or I believe it's self-defense, um, and and I really, I, I'm really sad about the situation because she was pregnant. How come I see this uproar when it comes to? one death of a black person compared to the multiple death that black people cause um against each other like how, how is that possible please explain to me why that tends to happen when there is um when is it race shouldn't black life matter all the time it shouldn't only be when a, a white cop killing a black person it should be all the time in chicago there were like 30 killing or shooting on during the weekend and nobody talk about it. Many people lost their lives because of that. But then when lives are lost, then it's a big problem. Black life matters all the time. Take a look at this video of this rapper talking about it. And kudos for him to really talk about this because this is, this is really not right. Take a look. I don't support Black Lives Matter because who they matter to? We kill each other all day. We Black Lives Matter. Don't say nothing when niggas kill niggas. Black Lives Matter only speak on uh, gay issues and, and police shooting. Facts. Uh, and I'm and I'm telling. The moment that she started driving that car, that car became a deadly weapon. And let's assume that she didn't steal anything. I don't think the best way to prove your innocence is by running over an officer of the law. And we can make the argument that she saw a pew pew and feared for her life. But what part of driving off was going to make that situation any better? But y'all know me. I had to do some research. And according to the Franklin County Municipal Court Records, this was not her first run-in with the law. She actually had a warrant out for her arrest due to disobeying a restraining order that her own grandmother put out on her. She also had some minor infractions before, like a bunch of speeding tickets. But I want to make note of two specifically. In 2022, she was charged with petty theft. And in 2021, she was was charged with fleeing an officer and failure to comply as well as disorderly conduct sounds familiar i've seen a lot of media outlets and protesters make this about race and activism when it's not about race whatsoever that woman was a year older than me this is about teaching our kids that they don't need to respect police officers. This is about people thinking they can get away with any and everything. If y'all do the research and look up those charges, you'll notice that a lot of them were either dismissed or she failed to show up in court. This is about people lacking accountability and then being turned into martyrs for doing so. It pains me that people are not being taught to respect the proper authorities. But what pains me even more is the fact that her unborn child and her already born children had to pay for those mistakes.